Hey viewers, welcome back to Assassin's Creed 3 when we left off. Connor's story had come to an end. He'd hit the amulet where no one else would find it. Now Desmond and the gang have got to go and dig it up. It's time to finish this. I know where the key is. Very enthusiastic. So. <gasps> I know where it is. Then let's go. It it's, it's like when um they go and he's like, we've got it, the Coliseum. 72. 72. <laughs> Abigail Davenport, Connor Davenport. They're just jig digging up some kid's grave. Jigging up. They're just digging up some kid's grave for no reason. Without thinking about the ethnical, like, things behind how wrong that is. But, um... Guess this is it. We're right so behind ethical, you. Not ethnical. Ethnical would mean like black people and white people, isn't it? I don't know. But let's do this. My merry band of assassins behind me. Oh, what do you think we're gonna find? Like a giant Loch Ness monster, ready to eat our faces off. After all this time, send to the Grand Temple. Find what dwells within. Moment of truth. Do this. I love William's eyes. Look at him. He looks so scared. His eyes he, oh, look absolutely terrifying. They're like really weird, aren't they? Can you see him here? Or do their eyes all go black? No, you can't see him. It's just a bit weird. Desmond's eyes go black. I'm sure they do. Here we go. Final cutscene. Yes. Come. Oh. Juno, calm down. What's she doing beyond the scenes. Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our six hopes extinguished. Save one. We found the six. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait, Nerva, you're right. Do not touch the pedestal. Uh, Nerva, what? You. But how? You left. You destroyed the device. Did you think there was only one? What the hell is going on? No here? idea. I'm confused as you. You must not free her. Free her. Free her. Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it, and then we left. But first we called to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Shango. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work, but it is too late. 
You and the Templars have squabbled over but our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. Yeah, let's see. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the sky. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. It's the Brotherhood outfit, isn't it? Then you emerge. Resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory. A legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well, and see them made wicked and unwise. Exactly what happened, like what was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see religion. that what was shall be Terrible again. Thing. So tell me, how is this What it's better? basically saying is, if religion never existed, this wouldn't have happened. There wouldn't be wars, there would be peace, but religion fucks that right up. Thanks for that, Jesus. She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, However terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. there is no... If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You De mustn't. De it's gonna... it's done, life. Minerva. The decision's made. Tesma's gonna give his life. And the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and, and then die. Juno released into the world, control the world. You need to go. But the world All of you. Saved. Now, get as far away from here as you can. Come with us. We'll find another against. way. There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do no, this now. No, no, no. So go. Go! Oh, God. So away from 2007, when Desmond was kidnapped, and he didn't know anything about this. He is so brave. Think of everything he did. From in AC1, he was a coward and he couldn't even escape. So now giving his own life so that everyone else can survive. I mean, that is Desmond's thrown so much of the character. Now he's gone. Goodbye, Desmond. Some sort of global aurora borealis. Wow. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. There we go. Are being asked to remain Assassin's inside. Creed 3 is done. My god. Oh my god, there's so much I want to say. Northeastern Canada is wow. Said to be experiencing the largest there's gotta be someone out there who is in control by Juno who can fight against her. Be a 
Judo has got me stopped. Because they can't just end it with that. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous ending. That's, they, they've like ended Desmond's story and not concluded anything. Well, my brain. Hello, Juno. It is done. The world is saved. James Arthur. Well, Desmond. Assistant Mission Director is James but Arthur. Now, now it's time that I play mine. Ah, oh, Juno, screw you. Some, someone will defeat you. Well, guys, that is it. That is the end of Assassin's Creed 3, the game. I've been waiting for since... Well, since... The end of Revelations, but... I mean... This game has been like just this is it's been leading up to this since Assassin's Creed One. Like when you think about Desmond, like he knew nothing about any of this stuff in AC One. AC Two became like a bit more new. So what's going on when Minerva spoke to him through Des through Ezio, sorry? And then Brotherhood. He actually got the his hands on the apple, which caused him to kill Lucy and go into a coma. Then as soon as he got out, he knew we knew what we needed to do. They went into the Grand Temple in AC3. Um, and used the key to save the world. Although now Juno's been let loose. Ah, oh, Desmond. There's a little... I just don't know. It feels like that happened too quick. Like, there should have been more to it than that. Ah, uh, man. Oh well. Can I skip these credits? Because there is a, there is an epilogue, and I will record the epilogue. So that is it from AC3. The epilogue will be up next. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this series. It's been a it's been an epic series. Um, I just ah, oh, it's so good. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Because I know I did. I've enjoyed the entire AC series. If you haven't played all the games, be sure to play them. Check out my playthroughs of all of them, which will be up eventually. I mean, I'm doing AC3 and AC1 now, so AC2 will be up next. Then Brotherhood, then Revelations, and then we can move on to other things other than Assassin's Creed. Because, unless there's another one, which, if there is, it'll probably be 2014, 2015, probably, that sort of time. So, I'm, I'm just telling you, as soon as I'm watching E3 Live and they announce a new Assassin's Creed, I'm going to go absolutely crazy and I'm going to throw bricks. Uh, like unsuspecting pedestrians, like be a woman, like walking down the street, like, oh, I need to go and get my growth. And he's like, oh, what the fuck, a brick? And then just get hit in the head with the brick and fall to the ground and die. But that is not what I'm talking Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this series. I know I sure have enjoyed the series. I'll be back with the epilogue. In it. I'll be back with the epilogue in the next part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this. Click the annotation at the end of the video to watch the epilogue. Thanks for watching. And peace out.